Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today my parents are not here, so I have Ariana in the background, so if she's making noise like she is right now, that's why. I'm not going to take the toy away from her. I'm a mom. I love my child. I don't, like the noise doesn't bother me anymore. Hopefully it doesn't bother you either. Anyway, um, so I'm trying something different today. I'm not using the green screen. I was playing around with it with other videos. Let me know, do you prefer the green screen? Do you maybe want some videos green screen, some videos not? I was planning to do like monologues and um, those might have the green screen. Anyway, so this is a fitness, uh, fitness vlog, so back to that. So, okay, it has been one week since I did my last um, fitness journey video log. Wow. <laughs> okay, so the good news is I managed to achieve my goal of losing a pound a week. Um, that's my minimum goal is to lose a pound a week. I don't know how realistic that is, but I achieved my goal. I was 143.7 last time. This time I'm 142.4 or something like that. So, you know, I lost I lost a little bit of weight. Mostly what where I saw the biggest change was in my waist and in my hips. The inches lost. I was um, almost I was like 29 inches last week. This week I'm at 28 and a quarter inch around my waist, and it could have been 28 inches but I decided not to suck in any I wanted it to be an easy measurement like so it, it easily measured 28 and a quarter inch around my waist I measure myself like right here at the smallest part of my waist and then on the widest part of my hips like where where it's the biggest that that's where I measure myself I just take the tape measure around and I do it first thing in the morning before I eat my breakfast before anything um, I measure myself so my hips were 40 inches very easily very easily 40 inches and last week they were at 40 and three quarters so things are tightening up and it's due to the exercise I believe because I've been doing those um, what is it those lunges with bicep curls Oh, I feel sore right now just doing it. It was really hard. Can you see me in the frame? Okay. It was really hard the first three days that I exercised. I was out of breath. I had a little trouble keeping up. I had to pause the DVD. And it's only 20 minutes. And I did it um, while Ariana was napping. So it worked out great. I mean, it... It stinks, you know, having to exercise because there's things that you could be doing, but it was like, okay, it's just 20 minutes, come on, rather than be on Instagram or Facebook or social media or whatever it is that we waste our time with, um, I was like, come on, 20 minutes of exercise, get it done, you need to shower every day anyway, so I shower right after that, and so she goes to sleep, like, she takes a morning nap. So that's when I've been doing it. So I'm very thankful for morning naps. Ariana, she's over there, like, at the bottom of the camera. So this is how I look. I'm pretty proud of myself, actually, for sticking with it. I have not exercised this frequently and, like, this hardcore in, since she was six weeks in the womb. So I'm so proud of myself here. You can see myself from the side. My arms, I don't, my arms, I didn't lose any inches. I was 12 and a quarter around my left, I, I measure like the top of my left arm. I was 12 and a quarter inch there last week, and that's where I am again today. It was very easily a 12 and a quarter inch. I don't know if it was tight 12 and a quarter inch last week, but it was easily 12 and a quarter inch this week. So that's just from drinking water before every meal from making sure that one of my main meals is a vegetable, like is it, that it consists mainly of vegetables and also keeping the food diary so that I'm more mindful of, you know, like I, I have noticed with the food diary, I'm, I am 
I'm less likely to go to the kitchen and get food if I have to write it down. It's like, uh, like sometimes I'm like, I don't want to have to write it down. I'll just wait another 20 minutes to eat. Like, you know, like that's, I found myself doing that. Um, so I only, like by keeping the food diary, I feel like it helps me to only eat if I'm really actually hungry instead of just mindless eating. Like I have to think about it before I write it down. So, um, you know, I'm going to continue doing what I did last week, you know, keeping the food diary, continue drinking that water, cutting back on the sugary drinks and diet sodas, because I used to, I, when I would be out, I'd be like, oh, I'll just have a diet soda, but, you know, like, I've heard that if you drink a lot of diet soda, that it can make your body crave more sugar, because you think you're getting sugar, like, your body thinks it's getting sugar, and then it doesn't have the energy that it, I don't know, you're like tricking your body, it can make you hungrier, I don't know, this is just what I've heard, I don't know if you've heard that, but, so I'm just, I'm just trying to drink more water, because it's better for me anyways, so, so yeah, so what else can I say, the most challenging part, um, yesterday I had to exercise with Ariana in the living room, because she refused to go down for a nap, that was awful because she was like not crying the whole time but she was like Mwah! like making kind of noise like pick me up why are you doing so I would I was having to do jumping jacks like saying one two like to talk to her to entertain her while I was exercising versus when she's napping I can just be um, focused on my exercise so that has been one of the challenges like if you, I guess if your kid refuses to nap so um, let's see, what else has been challenging? Um, right, like I said, writing everything down, it's really annoying. It's also annoying to have to drink water before every meal, because, because, um, I'm hungry, and I'm like, I'm hungry, why do I have to drink this water? It's just going to prevent me from eating what I, from, you know, filling my, and satisfying that hunger need. That's, so, but at the same time, it's like, I need water, my body needs it, I need to be drinking more water, so I feel like I'm finally, I'm, I'm also glad, even though it's annoying, even though it's annoying to have to drink water before every meal, I'm really glad that I'm doing it. Uh, let me take my hair down there. I have a scrunchie, it's, scr scrunchies are like, more gentle on your hair than a hair tie, so hence the scrunchie, but it totally reminds me of the early 1990s, so it's kind of embarrassing to wear one, but I'm around the house, but you guys are all seeing me, anyway, um, so, what was I going to say, I'm about to get ready to go out to Target, so I have my makeup on, I got recognized from the confessions videos when I was at Target, I don't know, I don't know if you're watching the person who recognized me, and so I didn't have any makeup on, and I'm so embarrassed, <laughs> Because I was like, no, nobody can see me without, you know, like, it's like other strangers can see me, but anybody from Confessions can't see me without makeup. I don't know. It's weird. I'm weird. So, anyway, the, the, uh, one of the challenges that I have is for me to eat a, a meal that is mainly consisting of vegetables, and the way I've done that is I keep spinach in my pantry, I need to go to Target and buy more spinach because I'm actually out. Because it's it's a real easy way for me. I can just add chicken to the spinach. I can add anything to a big bowl of spinach, and I love spinach. Ariana likes spinach. She takes after me. I I don't know. I think it's from watching Popeye cartoons so much when I was growing up. So now I have like positive connotations with spinach. It's really good for you anyway. But another way that like I like to season up or add more vegetables to my salad. I do the steamed, the steamed bags of vegetables. Like they have steamed broccoli uh, in the frozen food section. They have um, like broccoli with cheese in the frozen food section. And so I'll just, I, I, don't, I, like, I don't have time to be cooking all day and cleaning a kitchen. I'm with Ariana and I'm, you know, doing my own thing. So I will just throw um, a, like a bag of steamed vegetables in the microwave and add it to my meal or I'll throw the, the broccoli with the cheddar into the microwave and I'll add that to my meal. I love, I love frozen vegetables. I know that 
fresh vegetables are the best, but when you're a mom on the like and you don't have time to be cooking or you don't want to be spending all your day in the kitchen, frozen is the next best thing. From what I understand, it still retains a lot of its nutrients. So I'm like, hey, I'm getting in that fiber, getting in the the vegetables that way. So frozen. And I, I like to do frozen raspberries as well. Frozen blueberries, frozen mixed berries, Target offers a lot of those. Target's one of my favorite places to shop, as I'm sure a lot of you love Target as well. It's kind of like one-stop shopping. So, so yeah, so my, my new challenges for next week is to continue again with the exercise because it is still challenging for me to exercise on a regular basis. It's not something that I'm used to doing just yet, even though I've done it this week. I've been good, but you know, one week, so what? You know, so I've got to be consistent to see results, more results anyway. And um, so I'm going to be continuing doing that and working on improving my form uh, with that because like my girly push-ups <laughs> looked pretty pathetic. So I'm going to be working on improving my push-up uh, form and other, you know, like other moves that I do in the, in the Jillian Michaels 30 Day Shred video. And so I'm going to be doing that challenge. And I'm also going to be challenging myself to eat a little healthier because I noticed in my food diary that I was just having like plain bagels that have little to no fiber. So I'm going to try to swap that out for um, bread that has... Uh, more protein and fiber and also instead of like I was having I can't believe it's not butter olive oil on my plain bagel in the morning for breakfast and instead of um, having that I'm gonna do like peanut butter or, or almond butter instead because at least the nut butter will have protein versus the I can't believe it's not butter doesn't have any protein whatsoever it's just like fat so so I'm swapping it out to make my breakfast a little more wholesome. I also want to buy oatmeal because I might get bored with bread and nut butter and I might want to try oatmeal and that's also rich in fiber and I can add a little milk to it to give it a, a little protein. So those are my goals for this week, you know, just try to try to continue being healthier. Um, I. I splurged this weekend when I was out with my family at Disney World. Um, I went with my in-laws again. We went to Epcot and I was in Norway and I got the rice cream. Have any of you guys had the rice cream at Epcot Norway? I need to do a review on my favorite foods at Disney. And the Epcot Norway rice cream is a great way to indulge your taste buds. Let me just say. so. <laughs> that doesn't really help with trying to stay fit, I guess. But, hey, you need to have your cheat day, and, and you still need to be able to enjoy some of your favorite foods um, that aren't necessarily the healthiest. So, anyway. Yay! Oh, and, and also I want to say one, one way that I have managed to not always be eating all day long is because I'm so busy with Ariana, and I had hoped that I was going to feel that way because some moms, they don't feel that way. They're like, maybe their kid's really easy. Ariana's kind of high maintenance. Like she's having me carry her right now. It's hard to be sitting around eating chocolate bars when your kid wants you to carry her all the time. And I don't mind. I just love her. And I know that eventually she's going to be running away from me and becoming more independent when she goes to school and all this stuff. So I'm trying to hold her as much as I can. And uh, anyway, back to what I was saying. Yeah, so Ariana keeps me really busy. I think staying busy is the key to not overeating during the day. Uh, just staying busy. That's all I can say. And then only eating when you're hungry. And I think the, keeping the food diary has helped me to be more mindful of how often I'm eating but like my first week I wasn't worried about how many times I was eating I just wanted to record everything just so I knew what I was doing to myself kind of thing but anyway I hope this helps and I'm thinking maybe for the next video I might try to be more like I might let you know what a typical day of eating looks like for me 
so far I know that I have morning coffee every morning. I have dessert just about every night. <laughs> like a, a cup of hot cocoa is my dessert. But I am making sure I eat my big bowl of vegetables. And my chicken. And I've been talking too long, so I'm gonna hang up, or I'm gonna end this video. Please like this video if you liked it. Share it if you feel like it can be encouraging or inspiring to somebody. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see what happens next week when I weigh in again. And let's see if I can fit back into the Princess Jasmine pants one day. Okay, bye.